Congratulations on your new Renault Zoe. You're about to find out why what car have voted this an electric winner seven years in a row. Beautifully designed and packed with innovative features, we'll take you on a tour and show you the must-know items and how they operate, so that you can spend more time enjoying them. The new Renault Zoe uses a hands-free keycard. To open the car, simply have the keycard on you and when the car detects you up close, you just need to place your hand on either of the front door handles or the boot and the car will automatically unlock. To lock the car, with the keycard on you, just walk away. There are buttons on the keycard as well, should you wish to use them. The new Renault Zoe has a number of safety features, so let's take a look. First of all, in the rear of the car you'll find the Isofix attachment points here, to make sure child seats are properly secured. If you need to apply the child safety lock, you can do this by sliding this switch here. And to deactivate the passenger airbag, if you put a child seat in the front, you just need to turn this switch here on the driver's side. You also have a great feature called ZE Voice, which is a low speed pedestrian warning system, giving off a sound when you travel below 30 km per hour in pedestrian zones. And should you need it, the tyre inflation kit is located in the boot. Inside the new Renault Zoe, there is an abundance of technology. First of all, let's look at the stop start button. To start the motor, the keycard needs to be Select which days of the week you'd like either preconditioning or remote battery charging to occur on, add in your desired times and press save. Then switch to on. Don't forget to plug your Zoe in before you leave it. Then if you download the My Renault app on your phone, you'll be able to remotely activate, deactivate or make changes to suit your lifestyle. You can also connect with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. Just use the manufacturer's cable for best results. The Renault Zoe is packed with useful driver aids to make your journey all the more relaxing. From lane assist, electronic stability control, and hill start assist, they are there to help keep you safe. Depending on the incline, hill start assist will hold the car for approximately two seconds whilst the driver lifts their foot from the brake to the accelerator, helping prevent rollback. There are also a range of driver assistant features that you can choose to use. Cruise control and speed limiter functions are among the most popular and can be found on the steering wheel. To adjust the speed, just use these plus and minus buttons. A really innovative function is the B mode on the gear stick. When releasing the accelerator, the vehicle uses regenerative braking to slow the vehicle down and puts charge back into the battery. To understand more about this function, please visit the My Renault app. If any warning lights appear on your dashboard, you can also refer to the MyRenault app or handbook and call your local dealership. 
to reset the tire pressure, for example, after changing a tire, you just need to click through the options on the dashboard by using the down arrow here on the steering wheel until you see tire pressure, then press and hold for three seconds. To make sure the steering wheel is at the right height for you, you push this lever down, move to the desired position and then move the lever back up. The new Renault Zoe has split folding rear seats, giving you more options. Buttons can be found on either end. Simply push and fold. You'll find the charging lead in the boot. One for a wall box or public charging point comes as standard. If you require one for a main socket, it is available as an accessory. To charge the car, put the parking brake on and turn off the ignition. Press this switch on the driver's side to unlock the charging flap at the front of the car. Connect this end of the cable to the power source. Then open the flap and connect the other end of the lead to the car. The ZE light will flash as it's charging. Information on the dashboard will let you know an estimated charging time and how much power you have. When charging is complete, the ZE light will go green. When finished, press the charging flap button again you'll have 30 seconds to unplug the lead. To open the bonnet on your new Zoe, just pull the lever in the passenger footwell. Then simply push another small lever, which is slightly to the right of center of the bonnet whilst lifting. So before we finish, don't forget to get your first service booked in with your local Renault dealership in 12 months time. And if you'd like more detailed information on anything you've seen in this video, just visit the My Renault app.